men's A final. So wait, so what can he do? Can he get himself another gold? That's going to be the question. Here he comes, Mr. Mr. Calm. <laughs> A little wave, as we get to expect from him. Crowd go ballistic. He is one of the fans' favourites, and he is literally one of the pinup boys for Singapore. For swimming at the moment. Everybody seems to love him because of that calm nature that he has. Kota Kubota couldn't get it done a little bit earlier on in the backstroke. Can he get it done here? In the freestyle. It's amazing to think that just six seconds separate all of these athletes and that is why it was explosive this morning, if you remember, Teresa. It really, really was. And we said, we're going to be in for a banging final. 50 metres is really one of my favourite races to watch. Not because it's so short, but anything can go wrong. You have to be really, really perfect in everything when it starts to your finish. Samati. He will make his way out as well. He managed to get a gold in the 100 metre men's youth on day number one. Dennis Tanasov has looked solid throughout this, but he hasn't got everything going all at the same time. But anything could happen in this race. He is also the fastest qualifier for this event. And to back it up, he has a silver medal from the Tokyo Paralympics in this event. That's why he just needs to click and get it all going in, in one race. Sabrig so looked very good. Vitali this morning was very, very strong as well. And lane four from Uzbekistan, Igor Bolotov. Uh, Mr. Bolotov is back. What can he do here? Blew out a little bit when it came to the 100 metre backstroke, did Bolotov. But all eyes will be firmly focused on To Wei Song. Has a gold already in this series and a bronze. Can he add to that? This S7 athlete is the lowest classified athlete in this 100 or the 50 metre men's freestyle. Off they go. Came up early, did so way song. But the pace being set by Vitali in lane number five. Tarasov is very close as well. So is Bolotov. They're all going for this one, but it's lane five. So Bruik, Vitali Bazuik, who's gonna looks like he'll get the touch first with Bolotov touching second. It's gonna be very close to see if it's Tarasov or Bartoninsky that gets third. And again now coming through with the numbers. Can he get there? Just misses out to way song. But it is Denis Tarasov, he finally got it all together. And as you mentioned, living up to the hype, living up to the medals and living up to the records and the dreams that he's got already. That was a really, really quick race, splash and dash. But it was, of course, Tarasov that clearly came out on top. Five seconds separating all athletes. That just tells you, and again, the category is going down to S7 all the way to S13 very very competitive race indeed well you said it and it actually was a splash and dash everyone was in and they were all going for that one I couldn't even tell who was who <laughs> <laughs> now you know why I've got my lanes like I've got my this lanes this is what I'm learning from you I think I, I'm, I'm going to prepare that next time <laughs> I'll give you the template later <laughs> Fans really are enjoying themselves, and there's more people actually coming in as well, which is always promising to see. This is uh, Toa Wei Song's family, brother and mum and dad over there with some of his friends. There's confirmation that he's finished in sixth place there. It won't phase him. That's still not a bad points tally, you know, eight, seven, eight. Okay, and a little bit of work to do going and forward. And going under 30 seconds. I think that's a pretty good job. 